Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mace, and I'm here with an unboxing today of the Godzilla x Kong New Empire, Godzilla Evolved, and Kong with Beast Glove toys from Playmates for the Godzilla x Kong movie. Now, I've been really excited about it, and I've been kind of hoping that Bandai or somebody else would make figures based on it, but it seems like Playmates is basically all we've got for right now, so I guess... And these were fairly cheap at 10 bucks each, so I figured I'd just go ahead and get them and take a look at them. So why don't we go ahead and start? And I'll, I'll start with Kong. Let's see. There we go. Kind of annoying packaging. Alright, so use the design, the face and stuff is pretty good. I like it better than the Bandai Movie Monster series of Kong. And the body seems like it's all the right colors and everything. It's got a lot of articulation points. And of course the Beast Glove, which has got the words on it. I'm suspecting that maybe he injures his arms or something in the movie and that's why they put him on him. They've done a good job with all the texture work here on it. I mean, for 10 bucks, it's a pretty good figure. It's about the same size as all my other Godzilla figures, too. And then there's also this little thing in here. Um, not sure what the, they call it. Check the box. It's the Biomimic Heave, which is, I'm assuming that it's something he can throw that creates like a sort of a copycat effect on it. It kind of looks like one of the ships from the Godzilla vs. Kong movies, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, I really like this figure. I'm glad I picked it up. Alright, so for the big guy now, see how difficult this packaging is. Seems like there's just one more point down here. Just difficult to get at. Uh -huh. Alright. Finally. See how this connects here. There's a little ball joint you can connect it with that allows it to move, but it doesn't look like it connects very easily. Yeah, definitely, definitely doesn't work that well. As far as the Godzilla figure himself, I mean, the design's pretty much a copy of the other movies. It's got the nice fire stuff here. Along with its own little accessory. The, uh, fire blast. And there's also just the normal bigger Godzilla with the blue one, too. And I'm guessing that's just for, like, flashback scenes. Let's see how I connect this here. I guess it's like that. No, it's this way. Huh. 
Huh. Let me see that again. Looks like these parts are supposed to be up. But yeah, it looks like the jaw closes a little bit too, so maybe that's supposed to help keep it connected. But I'll figure this out another time. Anyway, I really like this figure, but it's definitely got a lot of problems with how it's designed, and I honestly don't know that I'd recommend picking it up. I'd probably recommend sticking with the Bandai Movie Monster series, honestly. But that's the Godzilla X Kong figures. Anyway, sorry the video is so long, but I appreciate you sticking through it with me, and I will see you in my next unboxing.